Hey guys, Todd here. Today we're going to install the Steelcraft Elevation Front Bumper on this 2020 Ram 2500. Now, if you need to know how to remove your factory front bumper, we do have a video showing how to do that. Feel free to check that out. For this installation, we'll be using a ratchet along with a 24 millimeter socket and wrench, an 18 millimeter socket and wrench, and a three quarter inch socket and wrench. Now make sure you're subscribed to our channel to stay up to date with all our latest content. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is actually remove this frame extension. We've got a couple of bolts that are going through holding it in place. We're gonna use a 24 millimeter to pull the bolt out and also a 24 millimeter wrench to hold the nut on the back side of it. Pull those bolts out and then pop this frame extension off. Just make sure you hold on to those bolts because we're gonna to need to use them to reinstall our new bracket. Okay, now here is our new bracket. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fit it up to the factory holes. Now you're gonna see that it lines up to the two bolt holes we just took out, as well as two bolt holes that held on the factory bumper. So we're gonna go ahead and put our original bolts we just took out back in. We're also going to use our factory hardware that held on the bumper and put those through these other two holes. All right, now we're going to go ahead and snug down our 24 millimeters and then our 18 millimeters up here. Now just repeat the same for the bracket on the driver's side. All right, I've already gone ahead and pulled the factory sensor harness out of the factory bumper. Now I did make sure and mark on top of each sensor, top side, so I know correctly how they need to go back in. Um, another thing you want to do is make sure it's oriented properly side to side. Uh, this is going to be plugging back into the driver's side of the truck. This is spun around, so this is the driver's side. So I've got the harness going the correct direction. Um, I'm just going to show you how to do one sensor, and then you'll just repeat the same for all the rest of the sensors. All right, so what we're going to do is pull back on this little tab, then depress the tab, and the sensor will come out. Next, what we're going to do is just slightly pull apart on the sides of the sensor housing and push in on the sensor and the sensor will come off. Now, keep in mind, this is going to be the top side of the sensor and the sensor plug is gonna come off to the inside of the bumper. Uh, next, we've got a little silicone seal that's running around the inside edge. We're gonna take that off and discard that. Um, we're also gonna be supplied in our kit uh, some of these foam seals and bumpers. So what we're gonna do is take this apart We've got the O-ring that's gonna go around our sensor. Slide that over like so. And it is adhesive, so it will stick in place. And then on the back side, the part that we popped out, we're gonna put that here. Next, we're going to take our sensor and slide it into our bracket. Make sure the notches on the sensor slide into the grooves in the bracket. Push that all the way forward. 
And then we're going to take um, our sensor cap on the back. This is also supplied in our kit. We've got the tabs that are sticking up here. This is also going to chase that sensor down in there and hold it in place. All right, and just repeat that on the rest of the sensors, and then we can run the harness. Okay, let me go ahead and point this out. We've got sensor, 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 and on the harness, uh, this goes to a sensor, this goes to a sensor, and this goes to a sensor. So from here over, we need to run this harness through this hole. So we're going to start by kind of crunching that down, pushing that through. First sensor. And second sensor. Now, let me also point out that this right here goes to our factory fog light. This particular truck came from the factory with the round halogen lights. Uh, so this bumper is not going to accept the round halogen lights. If we had the uh, rectangular LED lights, that would port right over and we would use this. So we're just going to tie this off for right now um, and go ahead and attach our sensors. Okay, I've already gone ahead and secured the wire harness out of the way with some zip ties. Uh, now would also be a great time if you're going to be adding a 20 inch light bar. There are some provisions for that. You can go ahead and do that. If you have a front facing camera, this window is removable. It just takes a Phillips head screwdriver and you got four screws that come out and this window will pull out. We do not have a front facing camera, so we're going to leave the window in there. Uh, next, I'm going to go ahead and put in the factory tow hooks using the factory hardware. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and take the factory tow hook and insert it into our new bumper and attach it with the factory hardware. So it comes in from the front, so I can just actually run it through this hole here. Come back through here. Now we're going to take our factory tow hook hardware, run that through. All right, and we have our flag nuts from the factory. Now we're going to tighten that down with a 24 millimeter. All right, repeat the same for the opposite tow hook. Okay, now I've got a couple of friends who are going to lift this bumper up and hold it up against the truck while I attach hardware. Uh, we went ahead and taped everything off just in case if there's any kind of a bump while we're lining things up, we don't mar the paint. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and use a floor jack. We're going to get everything lined up. Uh, I'll loosen up some hardware, lift it up a little bit, and get everything even on both sides, and then go ahead and tighten down all the hardware. All right. 
All right, now I'm underneath on the passenger side right now, just to give you a point of reference. This is the hardware that I put in while my buddies were holding everything in place, lining everything up. So this is already locked down. Let me show you what that hardware is. Uh, we've got a supplied bolt and washer that goes through the bumper and into our new bracket. Um, and then we'll have another washer. And then we've got a serrated flange nut that goes on top of that. And then we're gonna lock that down with a three quarter inch ratchet on one side and wrench hole it still. Okay, so we've got this hole and this hole. On the opposite side of the frame, we've got another two holes and we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Let's go ahead and tighten that down. Now we can go ahead and reconnect our factory harness to the truck. Well, we got everything lined up and tightened down. We did have to do a little bit of trimming on the plastic wheel well liner and got that tucked behind our bumper. And that concludes the installation. Guys, if you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments below. And if you wanna know more about the product, click the link in the description. As always, if you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.